Welcome dear students. In this video, we are going to learn about blood circulatory system. So let's begin. What is meant by blood circulation? Do you all know this? Blood circulatory system delivers nutrients and oxygen to all cells in the body. It consists of heart and the blood vessels running throughout the entire body. Which organs are present in blood circulatory system? The blood circulatory system consists of heart, blood vessels and capillaries. The circulatory system performs the function of transport of various substances like water, hormones, oxygen, soluble nutrients and waste materials through different organs. Hormones are the chemical messengers in our body. An independent system for blood circulation is present in humans and higher animals. It consists of heart, blood vessels and capillaries. Blood vessels are tubular structure carrying blood through the tissues and organs. And capillaries are tiny blood vessels connecting arteries and veins. We are going to learn about all this in the coming video. So now let's begin with heart. The structure and function. Heart is present al almost at the center in the thoracic cage. It is present behind the ribs between the two lungs and slightly inclined on the left side. Size of the heart is equal to one's own fist and its weight is about 360 gram. It is covered by a double layered peritoneal membrane. Here is the peritoneal membrane. A fluid is present between two membranes due to which heart is protected from friction and mechanical shocks. Which means whenever we get a jerk, so this heart is protected because of this peritoneal membrane. Human heart is a muscular organ. It is made up of involuntary cardiac muscles. Involuntary cardiac muscles are the ones who uh, does their function by themselves. It is not by our will. It continuously happens. So this heart is an involuntary cardiac muscle. They contract and relax with a rib uh, definite rhythm. This is called beating of the heart. Internally, heart is divided into left and right compartment by a vertical partition. Each of those uh, compartments again is divided into two chambers. Thus in all, heart consists of four chambers. Upper chambers are called as atria and lower chambers are ventricles. You all can see in the diagram we have left atrium, right atrium and left ventricle, le uh, right ventricle. Blood vessels, its structure and function. Heart is continuously beating. Due to this, Blood continuously circulates throughout the blood vessels. There are two main types of blood vessels. Let's have a look at those. The first one is arteries. Blood vessels which carry blood away from the heart are called as arteries. Except the one carrying blood towards the lungs, all carry oxygenated blood, which means the amount of oxygen in the blood is more. They are deeply located in the body and their walls are thick. These vessels do not have wall. Walls means it controls the passage of fluid or a pipe. Second type of blood vessel we have is veins. Vessels carrying the blood towards the heart from different parts of the body are called as veins. All veins except the one carrying blood from lungs transport deoxygenated blood. Deoxygenated means the saturation of oxygen in this blood is less. Most of the ven veins are superficially located. Superficially means on the top surface. So as we can see uh, near our wrist, we see blue lines, blue or green lines. Those are the veins. Their walls are thin and these are provided with valves. This is the structure of artery and vein. 
and these are the various uh, parts which are present in arteries and veins next we have is capillaries arteries gradually branch out with decrease in their diameter as they spread in the body and finally form fine hair like vessel called as capillaries as you all can see in the diagram the left hand side pipe which we have is an artery it branches out into thin hair like structure those thin hair like structure are the capillaries wall of capillaries are extremely thin and made up of single layer of cells due to this exchange of materials between capillaries and cells become easy during the exchange oxygen nutrients hormones vitamins etc are sent towards the cell and waste materials of the cells move into blood capillaries unite together to form the vessel of more diameter called as veins as you all can see in the diagram also these capillaries unite together and form the blue color pipe which is actually a vein capillary network is present in each organ which means capillaries are present throughout our body now we shall learn about blood circulation through heart or functioning of heart the process of pumping the blood towards various parts of the body and bringing it back towards the heart is called as blood circulation so as to maintain the continuity in circulation heart alternately contracts and relaxes consecutive single contraction and relaxation of heart constitutes a single heartbeat and this is how the blood circulates that's it for this video students we will continue with the remaining topics in the next video thank you